looking over where the 200 KT leaves off, the RS-230 Hollow Master tool offers increased capacity and extended reach, but retains many of the key features and advantages of its smaller brother. When might the 200 KT not be the obvious choice of hollowing tool? One consideration would be the depth of the project being undertaken. The maximum working depth of the 200 KT is approximately 6 inches, but there may well be times, like for instance with this end grain vessel, that the depth to be hollowed out is greater than the maximum the 200 KT can offer. The 230 Hollow Master offers increased depth and remains stable in use due to having retained the substantial shaft and large support area from the 200 KT. This tool also features a swan neck curve to the end of the shaft, allowing a greater degree of undercutting to be taken whilst working through a restrictive size of opening. If the curved section of the tool is placed onto the rest, the force exerted by the spinning timber could cause the tool to twist, making any degree of control difficult if not impossible. As with all swan neck, or cranked tools, the tool rest is moved back away from the work to allow the tool to be supported along any point of the straight section of the shaft. This places the cutting tip back in line with the support point and control and stability are restored. After using the round hollowing tip to complete the majority of hollowing, the round shear scrape blade can be fitted to produce a good quality surface finish. As it is not possible to show the effect of this tool inside a deep hollowed vessel, we have fitted the blade and will take a finishing cut on the inside of this maple bowl. Again the tool rest is placed against the straight section of the shaft and the cutter placed onto the centre line of the work.